Well, hello there, humans. Be welcome to whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a showcase here. I'm going to look at a series of games, my favorite games from the uh, recent professional series, the Blitz, Stellar Cup, the EU, the APAC, and the North American uh, games. And I'm going to show you first uh, my favorite game from the EU. I'm not sure if it's my favorite game from the whole slate of games that I uh, cast from Vilnius. Uh, and if you, in case you're wondering where I've been, I've been in Lithuania casting uh, World of Tanks Blitz. I'm sure you're all desperately hanging on to my every word as you farmed your keys up. Um, but I want to talk about the first game of the Blitz Cup, Blitz Stellar Cup Finals for EU. Um, Close ones. And I'm going to show you it here. Look at now, I was pretty excited when this card dropped because you can see on the left of your screen uh, is... ARPA. Now they were the well, they were they were champions previously, and they had to fight through the lower bracket finals to fight B Love, and they ended up going down uh, five games to three to B Love, but they won the first three games, and they were looking the better team, and they started it off with a wild card move. They hadn't really run any light tanks in their lower bracket final against the Quick Plant, and they won that very easily. Uh, and they looked very, very good. And then they started Castilla, which was obviously a the first time we'd seen the map in the EU lower and upper bracket finals. And in fact, I don't think we had it at all in the NA or the APAC finals. And they started with four Batchats. Now, the Batchat was the tank that was the most popular tank for a light tank this time around. And they do big balance changes at Tier 10, particularly because it changes the meta in competitive, which I think is really cool. Uh, but the bat chat with its new clipping, uh, the new, the way they've changed the gun and its view range, its vision, it's, it's an excellent tank now. But the tank that probably got the most run uh, across all servers on all finals was the VK7201K. And they're not running any of those. They're running the mouse, which was close as well. But watch the way they use this. And this the is an absolute crazy close game. Three two. bat chats, four bat chats. Oh my good god, they have gone I was pretty excited. that chat crazy. Indeed they what had. in the world? Be lover looking at this and going, uh, is this been a mistake? I think, I think they've chosen the wrong tanks. And the craziest thing about this is look at where the bat chats are going. They're not yeah. even going to This is very important to note. Hill. If you look at the mini map down in the bottom here, um, the bat chats are almost set up like TDs. They are very, very reserved. And they've got good reason for that. Um, there's a bunch of tanks over there that love fighting bat chats, namely the 2215Bs and the Chieftain. But the 215Bs particularly with the extraordinarily good hash pen they've got and the high DPM coupled with uh, the speed boost and the adrenaline means they can chase down tanks like bat chats and dump huge huge damage into them. So four bat chats versus 215 beast chieftains and a bunch of big buffy German heavies. You kind of wonder how they're going to make this work. Be would be and I like thought this strat was like ingenious. Look at this. We're going to go up the top. We're going to eat all these bat chats alive. Well, no, you're not. They're not going to be anywhere near there. This is such a brave way to start the game. Watch and where the mouses go. playing them in a traditional role. I think ARPA have saved all their super tricky strats for the final. I don't know if it's going to work or not. No one is spotted on the map despite having four light tanks in one four game. Lights. I'm frothing no one at the mouth spotted. here, Alexandra. This is, this is as good as it gets. <laughs> bat chats! Bat chats as far as the eye can see. Now, look at the bottom right of that screen there where Uni and Yennefer are. And... Uh, they are going to tiptoe along behind the buildings. And the reason they can get away with it is I love this strat. And I think this is a strat. I think it was uh, 9-0 was telling us that this is a strat that has actually been distilled from another clan. I'm, I'm not sure because he's the EU guy. Uh, but the bat chats are actually overlooking those mices, those mice, the mouses. Uh, and they are huge clipping potential and obviously incredibly mobile, but they're very, very worried about, uh, you know, getting smashed. 
Larushka is in a mouse in Spawn. Psychopath Evgeny is in a 7201K, and they're all behind B. And B is a cap you generally can't uh, grab in competitive here. In the back. Uh, well, not very easily anyway. Behind the A cap there, seeing if anyone from B love goes wandering. How do you keep three mouses from being spotted? What the hell? Uni and Look Jennifer at them. are tiptoeing through the tulips behind the B cap here. Look at Psychopath Evgeny behind that B cap. That? Look at him. Unbelievable scenes. That is a round. He's down in the water. The B cap. How can you have four light tanks on a map? And no one is spotted. Finally, mouse of Yennefer and Uni now. Now, this is very important. Object is in the bat chat in the far corner, okay? And I, I also want to put out here that I think ARPA did this nearly perfectly, and they still nearly lost because B-Love are just that good. They're a very good team. And I would love for us to get an opportunity to have an offline where we got to see the European top clan, the NA top clan, and uh, – and the uh, the North American top clan go through and have somewhat of, you know, a head-to-head. -head. Because they say styles make fights, right? And they mean, like, you might be a great fighter, but you fight someone who's a southpaw or, you know, leads with the wrong hand. And it ruins the way you play. And I think that probably the B-Love ARPA was the best technical uh technical fights we saw in terms of rotations and and just the nuance but i also don't know how they'd hold up against the styles of say well i mean we saw risk and wrote nova play and wrote nova are just a, a big old brawling team right and uh origin and jokers and those guys maybe even get six teams in there and have a round robin but watch how watch how they, they respond would have set here. this up for the bat chats to support there is someone signaling at the C cap there. They, oh, they're paying a hefty price. Psychopath Evgeny is down there pushing upwards. There's Skilordius B. They have got the B cap and they've got the C cap. It wasn't the way you'd expect it, having that many bat chats in a map, but they've grabbed BC and the 215B. Now they Bob pull back. Love are rolling hot and heavy. Through the A cap, everyone settle back, take a breath. There is a lot of time left on this map. Now, I don't know if you understand this, but they've actually turned the mouse of Yennefer and Uni into the spotting tanks and the bat chats into the damage dealers. And these bat chats, because they've got such crazy good camouflage, are sitting at the back of the map, putting shots in, right and they're not getting spotted. If you were B love about pushing through anywhere, those cappers, those clippers of the ARPA boys, that is a lot of DPM available to dump if they can isolate a tank anywhere. Right now, the hit points squarely in favor of Bedbug, but that's only to be expected when one team is running 1,800 hit point tanks for more than half of its team. The heavies are so important here. Yennefer and Uni are going to have to hold there in the middle and not bleed too much so that they can access all... Look at Varda. Look at Varda in the far corner in the, in the VK7201K. Varta, rolling back it's getting spotted by black, Big Black Pipe. The upper cap area there. Big Black Pipe is looking straight down that alleyway and spotting Varta. You can see Psychopath Evgeny nuzzling forward into the boxes there behind the B cap. They should be able to get into that B cap to do something. Really, this is a stunning strat. They are spread out right across the back, and they've got all their clippers rolling along, looking down that B cap line. Classical and Psychopath Evgeny have this been is, every bit of Look at the psych classical come through here. As this is a, such a decisive move by B Love. Into that B -cap area. And there's some really Big key decisions that are coming up that will massively affect the outcome of the game. Uni and Co. are just, they're just there to bleed while the bat chat's dumped. Winchell 8's finally spotted up the top. Skolodius is answering back. Can they maximize this? The bat chats are rotating hard. They've isolated. Now, this is where you love seeing this light tank play. Varda has pushed through behind the A cap there all the way into the northwest corner. 
Look at the bat chats just go screaming down towards Varda. Down he does a end, great job. He stays up around. for much Wong longer Kini than you'd expect. And Psychopath Evgeny start going 1v1. The Alphabet's coming in on the left-hand side here. There's They're a huge counter push like going on on the south end of the map. To arrive. He's going to go straight in. He's got the swimmers on. He's in the deep end. He's having a good time. He might take one for his troubles. He takes a huge dog. But Varda's about to get clipped. There's too many... Varda's on 57 him. hit points and holds on 57 Varda's hit points for a long Locked time. Like Look down. at him down there. They couldn't quite clear him. The mouse has gone down. Arpa. They haven't been able to get rid of him. They are losing caps. They are losing They finally caps. get rid of him. And if you stop cap. it right there... Okay. That's LaRushka there in the mouse, recapping C. They have B, they have A already. They are down ever so slightly on hit points. Uni is very, very low. But this is where the mobility versus the buffy hit points of these, uh, like all the bat chats having hit points is great, but like they're going to bleed every engagement. They've only got 1,800 max. They don't have the armor, and they've got to now go and get stuck in because Larushka is capping. There is a bat chat just south of him. This is great to watch. The happy. That's uh, oh, they're in trouble now. They don't have enough hit points. They don't have any caps. The heavies of B Love have just started pushing back. They are firing back though. Yennefer, Yennefer is amazing. An absolute Three takes. Time. Surrounded on all sides. 908 points. They're not getting any points while Yennefer's there. Object Great job the by Yennefer holding him. Rolling back in. Days and Big Black Pipe looking to get stuck into Rumble Steel Skin from B Love. 896, 6 versus 788. Days nearly done. He's about to finish the clip. Here comes the damage, boys and girls. One pussycat, two pussycat, three pussycat, and it's all over there. 960. They're nearly there. This is a 3v4. Days is just been hit for 439. He's down to 74 hit points. Um, Big Black Pipe and Winchelade. Uh, <laughs> this is so funny. You've got four bat chats left versus a Chieftain, a 215B, and a Mouse. But the Clippers are pointless once they're out of, um, once they've, they've done their damage and they've dumped. And that's what B Love know. They're communicating here. They're down by 150 points on the supremacy caps. They can't afford to die. They do such an amazing job, both of sharing hit points and of also focus firing as they come in. There's one. Here comes Classical. See that? Classical skips. Classical. Watch that again. Classical. This is such a lovely move by Kitsune X God and Classical here. Classical completely ignores Big Black Pipe because he knows they've got it's 972 on the board right now. Okay? Soon they know God, they've got to clear these tanks. 936. The Watch how Big close this goes. Classical is rolling down the it's 40 points for the for the clear. Big Black Pipe going for 952, 908. Oh, that's gonna go. Punch, counter punch. They've got to take someone out now. It's got to be classical. This is wild. Where's Object when you need him? He's in the cap. He's bringing it. Did you notice that? The whole time that was all going on, you can't see him because he's just off the camera. But Object is down on the bridge between A and B, and he does not dick around in the bottom of the map. He goes straight to the B cap. Classical is rolling down in the 215B. Ignoring so much Black going Pipe on. Going for Winchelade. 952, 908. Oh, that's going to go. Punch, counter punch. They've got to take someone out now. It's got to be classical. Where's Object when you need him? He's in the cap. He's bringing it back. 980, 948. <laughs> this is neck and neck. Are they going to And then they just can't get there in time. They, can they just can't so get there in time. 996, oh. 1000. <laughs> we have a. What a game. If you're not watching these games when you, you know, just if you're just sitting there farming keys, that's great. I understand that. But these are incredible players playing incredible tanks, and you should really check them out. Um, the end result, of course, 
was a lot more joyful for uh, B Love. But that was the quality of tanking that we saw in the EU finals. It was very, very, very impressive. Uh, we're going to have a look at some more of these as we go forward. And hopefully we can just really enjoy them. I love breaking these down because I think they're pretty delightful games. Um, if you want more of this kind of tanking content, if you want to see some more breakdowns of this stuff, let me know and I'll continue on. We're going to have a look at APAC and NA as well. And if there's any particular games you want to see again and talk through, let me know. Leave a comment below. Um, tell me what you thought. And yeah, just look after yourself. Stay safe in the battlefield. And as always, bye for now.